So now we move on to the uh, reasoning ability section and the first question is a question on uh, arrangements. This was posted by Anil. So we'll look into that question. A very good question Anil. Uh, I think it's a very different type of question, not a, uh, like not some type which we solve regularly in the sessions. A little different question this is, good. So try it out. What is given? There are some people who are watching uh, a movie zero in a multiplex where several rows have different number of seats. The rows were numbered uh, such that the nearest row from the screen was numbered 1, the row just above it was numbered 2 and so on. And based on that some information is given, you have to find out how, uh, how they are sitting, in, in which row who is sitting based on the given information. So try it out. I think I'll start solving it. Uh, in the meantime, if you guys are still trying, please refer to this slide and continue trying. Uh, since none of you have given me the answer, I think I've given you more than five minutes to try the question. So let me get started. What is given here? Some people are watching zero in a multiplex. There are several rows and each row, uh, uh, there are several rows and has different number of seats. The rows were numbered such that the nearest row from the screen was uh, numbered 1 and the row just above it was numbered 2 and so on. The seats were numbered from left to right as uh, 1, 2 uh, and its adjacent seat as 2 and so on. All the persons are facing towards the screen which is in the north direction. So you have a screen here. So this is your TV screen and there are people sitting in different rows like this, right? And what is given? Um, how many rows are there? Okay, one. I'm just giving some space. Like this, there are rows, and uh, they, all of them are facing north. So, what is given? This will be seat one, this will be seat number two, and so on. Right? The leftmost will be the seat one, then followed by seat two, seat three, and so on. So, that's what is meant. Uh, all the persons are facing towards the screen and facing the north direction. Basically, all of them are facing upwards. Uh, all the people are facing in the north direction. The below mentioned information is regarding few persons only. The film was houseful and none of the seat is vacant. Total number of rows does not exceed 7. And the total number of seats was 5 times the total number of rows. So total number of rows do not exceed 7 means maximum there can only be 7 rows of seats. It can be 7, it can be 5, it can be 6 and uh, let us assume now ne by the next, sta next, next statement what they are saying is that the total number of seats is 5 times the total number of rows. So if there are 7 rows how many seats will be there? 35 seats will be there. If there are 6 rows how many seats will be there? 30 seats will be there. If there are 5 rows 25 seats will be there and so on. So till now this is what you understand. And then Meher's row number and seat number were the same and it was an even prime number. So the first person whom we can place is Meher. Meher's row number and seat number were the same and it was an even prime number. There is only one even prime number which is 2. So Meher is sitting in seat number 2 in row 2. So definitely there are two rows in the cinema. Okay, definitely there are two rows and Mihir is sitting in seat number 2. So 1, this is 2 and this is Mihir. Okay, then so there is somebody else who is sitting here. We don't know who is sitting here. In row 2, definitely there are two seats because Mihir is sitting in the second seat. So there is one seat 1, somebody else would be sitting there. Then uh, Ranu sits second to the left of Shriya. So I don't know where to place this Ranu and Shriya. I am just going to uh, write there, write it down here this information. Ranu sits second to the left of Shriya. So there is a person Shriya second to the left. Everybody is facing upwards now. So second to the left is here. There is one person in between them. I have just noted that down here. The number of persons to the right of Hema who was at seat number 3 in row number 5 is one more than the total number of rows. So Hema is first sitting in which row? Hema is sitting in row number 5. So now another information I got. What do I understand? Definitely there are 5 rows because Hema is sitting in row 5. Correct? It is given that um, Hema is sitting in seat number 3 in row 5. So 1, 2, 3. This has to be Hema. 
Hema is sitting in seat number 3 and in row number 5. Okay. The number of persons sitting to the right of Hema was one more than the total number of rows. So, how many rows are there now? See, for sure I know there are 5 rows. So, either there will be 5 rows or there will be 6 rows or 7 rows. So, if there are totally 5 rows, then how many people are sitting to the right of Hema? 5 plus 1 or 6 people are sitting to the right of Hema because it is given the number of people sitting to the right of Hema was one more than the total number of rows. So, if there were only 5 rows here, then number of people to the right of Hema will be 5 plus 1, 6. If there are 6 rows, number of people to the right of Hema will be 6 plus 1. If there are 7 rows, number of uh, people to the right of Hema will be 7 plus 1. Again, we don't know totally how many rows are there. We have to find that out. How do we find that out? Look here, Shreya is on the immediate right of Sanu, who sits in row number 4. So, Shreya is to the immediate right of Sanu. So, Shreya is already here. We have fixed, na? Ranu is here. So, Shreya is here. So, this Shreya, Ranu and, uh, sorry, not Shreya. What is that uh, other person's name? San, uh, Sanu. Yeah. So, you know, Ranu is here, Sanu, Shreya. These three are sitting in row number four. Might be they are sitting in the place one, two and three. We don't know. But for now, what we know that these three are in row number 4, we don't know in which order where they are sitting, ok. So, it is given Shreya is on the immediate right of Sanu who sits in row number 4. Tina is seated in the leftmost seat in the last row which is not a prime number. Now, what do we know? We know that there are either 5 rows or there are 6 rows or 7 rows. And then here it is said that Tina is sitting in the last row which is not a prime number. So very clearly I know that the total number of rows cannot be 5 or 7 because 5 and 7 are prime numbers. The last row cannot be a prime number. So how many rows are there? Finally there are 6 rows. Already 5 I have fixed, correct? But it cannot be 5 alone because Tina is there who is sitting in the last row and it is given that the last row is not a prime number row. So, it can't be 5 or it can't be 7, it has to be 6. So, in the 6th row in this corner who is sitting? Tina is sitting. Tina was seated in the leftmost seat in the last row which is not prime number. The total number, so totally there are 6 rows, we have finalized that. Now that there are 6 rows, how many people are there? 5 times, right? 6 uh, rows are there or how many seats are there? 6 fives are 30. So, totally there will be 30 seats. Now, how many people will be to the right of Hema? 6 plus 1, correct? 6 plus 1 or 7 people will be to the right of Hema. Because they are given here, na, the number of persons to the right of Hema who was at seat number 3 in row number 5 was one more than the total number of rows. Totally there are 6 rows. So, how many people are there to the right of Hema? 7 people. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, how many people are there in row 5? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, there are 10 people in row 5. I have freezed row 5 now. So, in no other row will there be 10 people because they are very clearly given that several rows has different number of seats. Now, the total number of persons in the top 3 farthest rows was equal to 18. There were three seats between Sabha and Tina. So, Tina is here and there are three seats between Sabha and Tina. So, one, two, three and this has to be Sabha. Okay. Now, they are saying in the last three rows, right? Top three rows means row four, five and six. Totally how many people are there? 18 people are there. So, already we have accounted for 10 people in this row. Then this is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And here we know three people, right? Ranu, Sanu and Shreya. They have to be in the fourth row, but we couldn't place them earlier. But here, since they have said that totally there are only 18 people, Already 15 people have placed. So, the remaining 3 people has to be these 3. So, obviously they have to be here. Yes. So, I can very clearly say that in the 6th row there are only 5 people and there are only 3 people in this row. How did I find that out? I already know there are 10 people in row 5 and here they have given between Saba and Tina there are 3 people. Then I don't know if there are people on the right hand side of Saba. But it is given here very clearly that last 3 rows put together there are only 18 people. So, out of those 18 people already I have placed 15. 3 more people are there and 
they cannot be here. Why? Because already these three people are there in row 4, Ranu, Sanu and Shriya. So they have to be here. So this will be Ranu and this will be Sanu and this will be Shriya. So we have placed, we have uh, finished these three rows. Yes, top rows means, uh, like see generally when you sit in a theatre, na, which will be your top row? You go backwards, backwards na, from the screen. So that's, that's how they have mentioned in the question. Three farthest rows, they have also mentioned na, the top three farthest rows, very clearly they have given. So this is done. Now we are left with rows 1, 2 and 3. There were three seats between, this is also used. Kavya was on the last seat of the first row. So last seat, I don't know, somewhere here. Kavya. Uh, the total number of people in row 1 was thrice the total number of people in row 4. How many people are there in row 4? 3 people are there in row 4. So how many people are there in row 1? Thrice. So 3 threes are 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And it is given Kavya is sitting in the last seat in the row 1. Okay, So Kavya is sitting here. Kavya is in the last seat of the first row. The total number of people in row 1 is thrice the total number of people in row 4. Uh, Sh Shagun was seated in an odd numbered row except 1. Okay, So we have already fixed all these rows. You know here there are 9 people. Now where can, where can Shagun come? Shagun is sitting in an odd numbered row except 1. So obviously Shagun has to be in this row, correct? Third row. Because there I have not put anybody. Now see how many people have I filled till now. See I have 5, 15, 18. 18 plus 9 is 27. 28, 29. So already these people, this row has two people. There is only one person left. So no row can be blank, right? Vacant without any seats. There has to be some seat. So this shagun has to be here. This will be 1. Yes, see shagun seated in an odd numbered row except 1 means either shagun can be here or 5 or 7. Correct? But I can't leave this also vacant. So I have to put Shagun there only. Is it clear? See, uh, each row has different number of seats. There are several rows having different number of seats. And uh, what they have said is, the total number of seats is equal to 5 times the number of rows. That's all. So totally there are 30 seats and this 30 is nothing but totally there are 6 rows. So 6 fives are 30. Now how many seats are there in uh, each row that is different. Yes, it's actually an easy question but a very interesting one too because we have not come across such questions very often. So I hope it is clear now. So let's look at the first question. How many seats were there in the multiplex? We already found out the answer for that. How many seats were there in the multiplex? 30 seats were there in the multiplex. What is the difference between seat numbers of Kavya and Sanu? Where is Kavya? Kavya is here. Sanu is here, seat number. So Kavya's seat number is 9, Sanu's seat number is 2. So what is 9 minus 2? 7. Who among the following is immediately ahead of Ranu? Immediately ahead of Ranu is Shagun. Shagun. Four of the following are alike in a certain way and thus form a group. Which of the following does not belong to the group? Four of the following are alike. Tina, Hema, Kavya, Sabha, Sanu. Let us see where they are. Tina, Hema, Kavya, Sabha, Sanu. So which is the odd one here? Which is the odd one here? Among, uh, among Tina, Hema, Kavya, Sabha, Sanu. Who is the odd one out? Wait, I will just mark it with another color so that it is easy. Among Tina, Sabha, Hema, Sanu and Kavya. Who is the odd one? You tell me the answer and then only I will tell you the answer. I have marked all the people. Out of these people whom I have marked green, tell me who is the odd one. So, if you see it, if you see Tina, no, she is sitting in seat number 1. 2, 3, 4, 5. Sabha is sitting in seat number 5. Hema is sitting in which seat? Seat number 3, right? 1, 2, 3. Hema is sitting in seat number 3. Sanu is sitting in seat number 2. And Kavya is sitting in seat number 3. 9. So, if you see Tina, Sabha, Hema and Kavya, they are all sitting in odd numbered seats. Sanu is sitting in an even numbered seat. So, answer will be Sanu. What is the total number of persons in the top two nearest rows? 
what is the total number of persons in the top two nearest rows top two nearest rows so nine plus two that is there are eleven people in the nearest rows no hema is not four i think i have written it in such a way it seems as if it is four hema is actually three see hema who is in seat number three it's three only this is hema might be when i wrote it it looks as if it is in seat four yes okay 